Good day ladies and gents, and the topic of today is cheating in Tarkov. And since the topic's vibe is not that uh, happy, I think we should change our lamp to this. There we go. Alright, all of us know that cheaters are a pain. Well, more like, more like this. Cheaters are pain for all of us legit players. And I feel like I'm becoming paranoid, honestly. This wipe has been so far one of the worst wipes in which cheating has prolonged for so long since the beginning. Cheating was pretty bad in the past few wipes as well, in the beginning of the wipe. For the first like two weeks or something, it was very difficult to play, but after the first week and a half, two weeks, it kind of was going down and like the game became better. But it's not the case for this wipe. I don't feel like there is any difference between the first week and what were like, what, 20, 22, 23 days in the wipe? It feels like there is no difference, man. I'm still getting head eyes. I don't know, maybe I'm just becoming paranoid. Uh, maybe, maybe it's just me who is getting unlucky. Or maybe you feel the same thing, but I honestly feel like there are so many cheaters in the game now. I know recently there was a ban wave by BSG. They banned some cheaters and they banned some guys who were buying items from cheaters, aka RMT. I made a separate video about uh, cheating and I talked more about RMT in that video. Uh, there should be like a pop-up here or here if you want to watch it. But yeah, those guys who bought items from cheaters, they received a 60-day ban. Which is a good thing, I'm happy that BSG are banning not just cheaters, but the players that are buying items from them as well. That's a good thing. However, I feel like there needs to be a big difference, like something needs to be changed in order for... In order for the number of cheaters to go down. Like, yeah, the game is becoming more difficult progressively and cheaters make more money selling items, etc, etc, etc. But I don't know, for example, Nikita teased the... Um, camera replay or like the death replay death cam in um, in the arena i think if we get camera replay in the usual tarkov mode that'd be very helpful at least you can see like where you've been killed from maybe maybe after the raid is done so the raid starts you've got 45 minutes to play the raid and after the raid is completely done and the server shuts down you should be able to see your death i think that's gonna be a pretty good thing and at least half of the problem is gonna be solved at least you will know where you got killed from and how that guy behaved once again, I wasn't really thinking about making this video in advance, it's just every single day I was getting wrecked like this non-stop for the past, I don't know, a week or so. And I don't know, man, I just I just want to speak out loud. I just want to wanna share how I feel. I would also love to speak about Rengar's situation um, for a bit. In case if you didn't know, Rengar got killed by a guy and it looked very sus to him. So he reported him in the game and he also made a clip and sent it to BSG. I don't really blame him, uh, watching the way he died, I probably would have done the same. And uh, that guy got banned, and he went on Reddit saying that don't kill shimmers, you're gonna get banned. And I think a few days later, the guy who got banned, he got unbanned, and this whole situation kind of kind of went down. And people were thinking that uh, he just manually got banned as soon as the Rengar sent the clip, but I think this is not the way it works. If shimmers, including me, will send the clips to BSG, somebody looks at that clip, they decide if the guy is sus or not. And if the guy is sus, they send the data to Batali, they send the, the, the code of the raid, they send the name, and then Batali does like a thorough check, they do a deep check of that account, and if they're cheating, they ban them. That's, that's how I think it works. I cannot confirm if BSG actually do a manual banning, but yeah, this situation doesn't make the whole uh, cheating experience in Tarkov any better, because it's not like we have cheaters, we also have some false bans, where usual players like like you or uh, me are getting banned. I know BSG have been taking a break for the new year, people were resting, and now they're coming back to work, so we're gonna get fixes, we're gonna get patches, and I hope they're gonna address cheating in some way, cause man, this shit, this shit needs fixing. This shit needs addressing. Even, even now, if you go on the flea market, there are some insane offers, like there is a guy called Jack Xiao with 0.55 wrap, it means he didn't sell shit on the flea market and he is selling 29 ledexes. Bro, what is this? I've played labs like 25, 30 times, I found zero ledexes. I've played Shoreline, well, I don't know, 30 times, I found one, one ledex. And this guy is selling 29, like, how is he not banned? And there's been so many examples like this in the beginning of the wipe as well. There was a guy selling like 20 ledexes on the third day of the wipe on the flea. Why is this not getting tracked? This is what needs to be changed. We need more bans or at least thorough checks of the player accounts based on statistics. If somebody is selling 20 ledexes on the second day of the wipe on the flea, he needs to be checked. Like, yo, he needs to be checked, man. 
Also, if somebody has an insane survival rate, like 95%, they need to be checked as well. I just, I, I don't know, man. Anyway, if you agree with my opinion, give this video a thumbs up and share your thoughts down in the comments below. Also, sub to the channel for more updates. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do update videos as I usually do. And yeah, thanks so much for coming to my rant and I'll see you in the next one.